The learning curve is a graphical representation of the effect that learning had on labor productivity in the aircraft industry. However, the concept has found its way into other industries. The learning curve model is defined by the following formula. The average time per unit, y, equals the time per unit, a, multiplied by the cumulative volume of production, x, considering b as the learning rate. Let's see a graphical representation in order to better understand the concept. This graph shows the cumulative volume of production, x, in the horizontal axis, and the average time per unit, y, in the vertical axis. This is the learning curve, which is downward sloped. There is a simple rationale behind all this. The more units produced by a given worker, the less time the same worker will need to produce the following units, because he, or she, will learn how to do it faster and better. We must consider what happens when two firms compete with the same product. Since the learning curve considers only time per unit, and assuming equally trained worker, both firms will have the same learning curve. Let's see an example. Firm B has been in the market for a long time and has therefore produced lots of goods, which translates into small time per unit, our labor cost. Firm A, which just entered the market, has produced less than firm B and therefore has to face higher labor costs. If price equals the labor cost of A, firm B will have profits, while firm A will just survive. If A and B maintain a price level at which firm A can endure, labor costs for A will decrease at a higher rate than for B because of the steeper slope for lower cumulative volumes of production, even though firm B has produced more output than firm A, as we can see by the increased distance between the new cumulative volumes firm A has been able to reduce its labor costs more than B. Therefore, the longer A stays in the market, the lower the profits for B, represented by this smaller green area, since the difference between labor costs will keep on getting smaller. This is commonly known as the catch-up effect. However, since B is able to anticipate all these scenarios, firm B will try to banish firm A from the market. Firm B could decrease its initial price, which would force Firm A to lower its price, thus incurring in losses. Firm A will ultimately leave the market. The obvious critique to all this is that, if learning curves were so obvious and could be anticipated so easily, we would live in a world consumed by monopolies. This problem is solved when we analyze the firm's experience curve.